we always got to think about it, um, how the enemy would look at it and look it through a claviscope of how the enemy would view anything that we do. And the enemy would probably think there's no way that they would possibly do that. But no, 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 as commandos, what we're thinking is, we think on doing that. Okay, so snow and ice climbing, really critical for the Royal Marines Mountain Leaders because my students, they were learning how to do vertical assaults on the cliffs of Cornwall, being able to climb at daytime and nighttime and set up systems so that we can bring in follow on forces. Now that they're in a cold weather environment, we've got to be able to transfer them skills within this domain. And that's why we spent a whole week conducting snow and ice climbing, both at daytime and nighttime. We've got to feel comfortable with this. So we've got to be able to overcome this obstacle because the way the enemy would look at us would be, there's no way they would possibly think about doing that. But the reality is, I'm thinking, no, we're, going to, we're planning on that. We're going to be doing the unexpected and have an unorthodox approach on the way we do things. So Royal Marines mountain leaders are the mountain and cold weather warfare experts across defence um, and quite simply if we want to generate any capability within this environment we need a, a core of instructors and the Royal Marines mountain leaders are, are, are pretty much at the epicentre of that. So whether it is training um, or a joint helicopter force, whether it's delivering training to the Royal Marines or the broader army then the Royal Marines mountain leaders are directly uh, involved um, with that. The Royal Marines Mountain Leaders have been coming out to uh, Norway for, for around about 50 years now. And um, it, you know, the height of the 80s, uh, during the, the Cold War, we, we found ourselves coming out here for probably three months every, you know, every year. So this will be key for the future commando force transformation, which is currently ongoing across the Navy, where we'll find ourselves working at reach where surveillance and reconnaissance is mission critical to what we need to have to enable us um, to uh, conduct operations. 